Okay, now that we've done this, we want to find out how far the figure from the actual weight is different from the, fi the figure, the amount that we would have gotten from simply adding the two, two components of the reaction. All right, so what I think I'm going to do to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to do a, create some more sheets. That's another skill you really should know how to do in Excel. So you see down here at the bottom of the screen where it says sheet one, we're going to put total data. Okay, so this is just the raw data we got off of the internet. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File. I'm going to go Insert. Oops, all right, it's not letting me do this. Why is that? Ah, I'm going to Insert. I'm going to click, and I'm, I'm going to click on a cell somewhere. And I'm just going to go Insert a Worksheet. And where it says Sheet 1, I'm going to just put, this is Experiment EXP 1. And then I'm going to Insert. Whoops, got to click somewhere else to make it active. Insert worksheet, and I'm going to call this experiment two. Great. Now, one thing you should be aware of is I am a little anal, and I want the total data to be first. So I'm going to click here on this tab here, and I'm going to drag it over here so it comes first. And then, of course, it says total data experiment one, experiment two. Well, that's silly. So I'm going to click on this one. This is experiment two. I'm going to drag it over here, and there it is. All right, so what are we going to do? Well, what we're going to do now is going to take the total data, and I, I'm going to take this section right here, Okay, these four columns, and I'm just going to right-click and go co copy. This time I'm copying, I'm not cutting. That's all about experiment one. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to click up here, and I'm just going to hit paste, and it should just go right across like everything, and it is beautiful. Okay, there we go. That did exactly what it was supposed to. I got all my data in there. Now, I'm going to go back here, back to total data, and I'm going to highlight these four columns. Okay, all the stuff that has to do with experiment two. I'm going to go copy. I'm going to type on the experiment two sheet. I'm going to click up here at the top, and I'm going to go paste. Boom, and it all goes all the way across. Beautiful. All right, so I've got all the my data all in a couple of places. Now, that's good, but what I want to do now, now that i got my two experiments, I want to go back to experiment one. And I said, okay, so what is the difference Okay, and again, you notice it's not high uh, bolded, so I'm just going to click on this row, and I'm going to, there we go, it bolded automatically. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the difference, so what is the difference between what I would have gotten from adding and the actual weight? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click equals, and I'm going to say, okay, this here is the weight I would have gotten by just adding those two amounts, okay, in experiment one. And I'm going to subtract the weight that I actually measured. And I'm going to hit enter. Now, this first one is off by a significant amount. But let's just drag all the way down and see what we got. All right. And you notice, for the most part, the weight that you would have gotten from adding the two is actually greater than the weight you, you actually weighed when you finished weight, when you actually weighed the stuff. So that means something was lost. Okay, somehow something was lost. And as if you think about it, you can probably figure out what that something is. And that's actually going to be the core of the actual assignment that you're going to be doing. Okay, is figuring out what was lost in this first experiment. Okay, but we do know that there was actually the weight, when you added the two things together, the difference in weight was off by a significant amount. Okay, uh, one up here, the minus 36 grams, that's just wrong. Okay, but one gram, 1.4 grams, six grams. 0.1 gram, 0.7, 1.7 grams. This, these are all in the same general ballpark. This one here, 8.7, seems like an outlier. That seems to be a little bit too much. This one, by that one, that amount seems to be a little bit too much as well. All right. So anyway, that's actually way off, 103. Okay. So sometimes there are errors made in the things, and that's fine. All right. But this is what we've got. All right. I want you to have this data. You're going to be uploading this. Now, experiment number two. This is the expected weight if you added column. G and H. Now, what we want to know is this is the weight of the baking soda in the balloon and the vinegar and the whole thing in the flask. This is what we actually weighed in this column. And I think just to make it a little bit prettier and a little bit clearer, I'm going to actually give this guy a slightly different color. That way we can see it a little bit better. And then why don't we, just because I like making things pretty, click at the column. We're going to make this guy say pink because I like pink. And then what we're going to do is, okay, now all we need to do is what's the difference? Okay, so what's the difference? And the difference is going to be equals 
what you would have had if you added the two together minus the actual weight that you weighed on the scale. I'm going to go enter. Boom. And that first one, the, this person redeemed himself because that was actually perfect. There actually was no difference. They caught all the stuff that was coming off. All right. And so this one here, off by 4, by 0.2, by 0.6. So you notice that most of these are actually pretty good. Every once in a while, you get the little outlier. This guy right here, you know, clearly there's something wrong with this data here. But the rest of them, most of them, the amount, the difference was very, very small, which means most of the gas that was disappearing was being caught. Okay, this one clearly office was wrong. Okay, so that's it for manipulating the data. From now on, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be answering the questions based on the data in these data sheets. For your assignment, you're going to upload the two datas. I have going to have a workshop with a series of questions. You're going to upload your data sheet, and then you're going to actually answer the questions based on what you did.